If you need to create a requisition in order to raise a purchase order for any goods or services that your team needs, you'll need to go to the main menu and then under your employment start pages, click on purchasing. Then you'll need to click on purchase request to take you into the requisition. So the first thing you need to do is to click onto header on the top right and you need to add the supplier. If you know the supplier code, you can type that in here. If you don't know that, but uh, you know what they are called, you can start typing ahead and it will bring up a list like that. For this, we're going to put the supplier code in and tab across. Okay, these fields, this is mandatory, but preset. Um, these aren't mandatory, so you don't need to um, do anything in these unless you um, it is necessary. Um, mandatory fields are shown with a red asterisk so that you know that you must put something in there, otherwise you cannot proceed. So cost center, if you know the cost center code, you can put that in here, or you could start typing ahead and it will bring up all the options. And so then you can tab across. So purchase order delivery type, we're going to put space bar in there so we can see the options. This is very important. Um, this is where you, you inform the system whether you want the purchase order to be emailed directly to the supplier or whether you want the purchase order to be emailed to you as the requisitioner. Obviously, want it to come to you, it's PO to requester. If you want it to go directly to the supplier, it's send PO to supplier. But this will indicate to the system that the email address that is attached to the supplier within the ERP is where this order will go to. So if you are not completely sure what that email address is, um, if it's correct, before you start this process, please go into that supplier and double check the email address. Then you've got procurement governance, so we need to hit spacebar. So depending on the amount that's going to be on the order, you need to select contract reference if needed, uh, price suppressed on requisition PO. So if we press space bar, it's either a yes or a no. Um, if you don't want the price showing on the purchase order, uh, maybe because you're not completely sure what it is and you don't want the company, the supplier to hold you to an amount that might not be correct, you can select yes, but for most of them, it is no. So close that down. The next thing, is the delivery. So the delivery address is defaulted to whatever your workplace address is, but you can change it. Um, there's a list here. So you can select from here where you want it to be delivered. Um, if you if where you need sending um, isn't on the list or if you need to give further instructions like a particular place on that site where they need to go, there's three three text boxes here where you can add as much information as possible and um, these will show up on the purchase order so you can add in bold letters and then write as much as you need um, to give them more information about where they need to go okay now we need to add a product a product line so we click add product to bring up the product line so the product code, if you know the code, please put the code in here. If you don't know the code, then you can just start typing what the description is and then select the correct code and then tab across. Um, it'll bring through a product description, but you might want to add a bit more detail, like um, a date or something. Tab across, it's already brought the supplier through. Delivery date is down as today. Now the quantity is very important. Um, so if you were expecting, for example, on this one, um, somebody to be coming to be a speaker at an event um, on multiple occasions, um, and for each occasion, it's going to cost £500, then rather than, say on three occasions, rather than putting one quantity at um, 1500 you want to put three quantity 500 And then if you get an invoice separately for each of those three occasions, then you can receipt it and pay it without closing the whole order. Because once all the quantity has been receipted on the order, then that order will be closed and you won't be able to pay against any pay against it, that order. Okay, 
Right, and you can see here what the tax code is. If you need to change the tax code, if you need to change the tax code, then you can, or check the tax code. If you click on the magnifying glass, it's got additional information. So you can see here, if you then delete and press the space bar, it brings up a list of what these all mean. So this was exempt. Um, if, if it's not correct, then you can change it in here. Okay, and also in here, there's product tax. So if you needed to add more information, um, you can free, free text here. This will come up underneath the product line. So it could be something regarding the order. Um, if it would say clothing, it might be color, size, etc. That's done. Okay, and then if you need to add additional lines, then you can add product. And then you can click send for approval. And then it will um, go off to the budget holder to approve and then it will become a purchase order and will be either emailed to you if you've selected it to be come to you or it will be emailed directly to the supplier.